Yeah, and Pat Brown, criminal profiler, the New York Post is claiming that uh, Shannon's relatives say cops have ID'd Shannon Gilbert's last customer, John, that he lives in the area near where these bodies were found, that they've talked to him, that he allegedly admits that this woman was there but left when she became agitated, and that one of his neighbors said that there was a woman in a panic who ran around saying, help me, and then some guy comes up and says, uh, you better not have called the cops, or words to that effect. What do you make of that? Well, they got, a, they got a lot of stories to sort out there, but this is one of the things these guys can get away with. When you're talking about girls who get grabbed off the street, that's the most dangerous place because somebody can just pull up, take her away, and nobody knows where she went to. When you're on an escort service like Craigslist, obviously you have to have a location at a hotel room or somebody's house that you're going to. Theoretically, there could be a phone call. You could have the address in your Blackberry or written down. Hopefully you leave it someplace with somebody else, but if you go and you don't leave that information, you can just vanish, nobody knows, or the guy can simply say, yes, I did hire her, but she left. Yeah, and 